So you think you're fast enough to beat the bomber? You're on! Wait, not like that. Use this. Oh yeah! Kaboom! A 1981 Activision game for the Atari VCS. This game is very straightforward. There's a guy on top of a wall, and he's dropping bombs. And as we all know, explosives should only be used for the sake of justice. What about fireworks? Those can be used for fun, but not anything unjust. Sweet. At the bottom is three water buckets. You have to move these buckets left and right in order to catch all the bombs as they drop. How can you catch all those bombs so quickly? Well, the game uses the Atari Paddle Controller for precise movement. If you're emulating the game, you can use a mouse. And if you don't have a mouse, get one. The speed at which the bombs fall gets faster and faster with every round. It gets downright ludicrous by the time it maxes out. And if you miss... You lose one of your buckets and the speed decreases. Kaboom! Oh, wait, I was too late. You can get one of your buckets back when you reach a thousand points. But if you lose all of them... Game over, man. Game over. Nailed it. That's all there is to it, which is part of its true genius. The game's design is so simple and its controls are so precise that it all comes down to pure skill and reflexes. The natural flow of the action gets so intense with the increasing speed that it commands absolute focus and precision. This helps induce flow state, which is the mental state of total focus, immersion, and enjoyment while doing something you enjoy and are good at. Creating flow state is something only the best games can achieve, such as Tetris Effect or Ridge Racer Type 4, and Kaboom certainly achieves this too. Not to mention there's an element of strategy with the buckets. Any skilled player will tell you that it's best to lose one of your buckets on purpose right before you reach the next 1,000 points. This allows you to get a speed decrease without any sort of punishment, keeping you in the action for longer. Now that's clever! There's only one other official version of Kaboom that Activision made, or technically two, the 1983 versions for the Atari 5200 and Atari 400 computer. This version functions exactly the same as the original, now with updated graphics and a familiar ditty that plays as each bomb is caught. I'm sure you can guess why it fits so well. Now that's clever! Activision may no longer be the great developer that they once were during their Atari infancy in the early 80s, but that doesn't take away from how fun the games they made during that time truly were. I encourage you to check out Kaboom any way you can, because you're in for an intense experience worthy of high praise. And after all, you don't always need bombs to help save the day! Or fireworks.